Alright, hey there Proxius, this is Proxify here. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Spirit Gold Wedlock. And in the previous episode, guys, we had uh, basically went and taken out both of the Team Rocket Executives. We had bas basically uh, taken out both Ariana and also uh, Proton as well. And now, guys, we only have one more Rocket Executive left to finish off this whole entire radio tower. And then we're going to be heading onwards over to the Ice Cave next. And, uh... Without further ado, let's go and do this thing. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a good Tuesday out here as well. So before we get started, we're going to go and just do a quick team recap, just so that if you guys did miss out on the last episode, I recommend you guys go ahead and check that out. Uh, but anyways, here we go. We got Boo, who's at level 50 with uh, Strength, Belly Draw, Vile Throw, and Force Palm. Bolton, who's at level 48 with Thunder Wave, Mirror Shot, Discharge, and Super Sonic. We also got Dirty Mirror, who's at level 45 with Dig, Crunch, Fly, and Dragon Claw. We also got Shelly, who's at level 45 with Rain Dash, Muddy Water, Surf, and Mud Bomb. Sai, who's at level 43 with Shadow Balls, that headbutt, Confuse Ray, and Side Beam. And of course, we also got King out here. Uh, that's at level 43 with Cut, Earth Power, Double Kick, and Poison Jab. So, I also got everybody all healed up. Uh, Boo's not poisoned anymore. So, let's go hop on onto this elevator here. And uh, let's take this ride all the way up here. Next stop, Observation Deck. Alright, here we go. Now, I don't remember if Giovanni actually makes an appearance here in. in uh, in this place as well, but I know that we uh, get introduced to Archer, of course. The man himself. Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and to officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We're going to regain our former glory. And I will not allow you to interfere with our malicious plans. Alright, so let's do this, Archer. What type of Pokemon does he have on his team right now? Oh, he's got himself the Zangoose. Alright, so that's not bad. We could just go and just use a Vile Throw on this thing. Close combat. Uh, is that going to do quite a bit of damage? Okay. But he lowered his defense, so that's very nice. So, Vile Throw is going to knock out the Zangoose out of here completely. So, goodbye. Nothing to worry about here. Alright, so Zagus is gone. That'll give us a nice good boost of our XP over there. Level 51 now. So we got Caesar coming out. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't have anything to actually help us out here right now at the moment. Well, we do got Bolton. Hold on. Because that is our partner Pokemon, of course. So we're going to go and switch right out, out to Caesar. Um, so let's go for a third of wave. There we go. Paralyze it for a little bit. Okay, so that's not even going to touch us. So at least we got it paralyzed. So I'm just going to go and switch out into Boo here instead. You go for an extra scissor. Does it even touch me? Oh, there you go. Final throw. Iron Head. Ouch. Okay. Let's get this thing out of here before it starts causing up a whole bunch of problems. Okay, we should probably heal on up here just to be on the safe side. I thought Final Throw was going to actually knock this thing out because it is a Steel type. Maybe we should go out for a Force Palm. Nice. Alright, so good job to Bolton on that. So we'll go out for a Force Palm. That should do a bit more damage. There we go. And Caesar is gone. That is the second Pokemon out of here so far on Archer's team. Nice. Bolton is now at level 49 as well. Okay, Gliscor. Uh, let's stay on it here. Let's see, how much am I going to do with the, this vital throw out here? Earthquake? Uh, is that going to do damage? I don't know. I don't think it's going to touch me that much. No. It's just a Gliscor. Wow, does it even touch it at all? Well, I'll go ahead and do have some strengths, but I think that's all that I can do for right now. 
Okay. Oh, that does something. Very little damage. Alright, he's gonna land another earthquake. I don't think this is gonna kill us, so we'll still be alive for this. Unless if it gets a critical. Okay, we're all good. Now, I think Lizboard may probably survive this strength out here, but I'm not too entirely sure on that. Okay, there we go. He is knocked out. Awesome. Gyarados. Alright, well that is good for us right here, so we'll go right out into Bolton. Okay, do some discharging over here. This Gyarados is bye-bye gone. Uh, of course, you cut my attack, so now discharge is now going to be doing less amount of damage to you now. Uh, let's see, is that going to do it? Yes, it still does. Wow. Okay, even with the Intimidate drop. Okay, who else do we got out of here? We got Houndoom. Okay. That's perfect for us. Wow, it seems like Bolton and Boo are both really good for this whole entire section here. So, like, we don't really need, like, anybody else on our team to really help us out. It's just only these two guys here instead. So, let's just quickly use our Hyper Potion up here. Just so that we don't have to worry about trying to get crunched or anything. But I don't think that's going to even work. Or except when you try to Nasty Plot, that may probably do some more damage. But I have to say, I, I, I really do uh, enjoy um, battling Archer. I wish we actually got to see more of Archer. Because like this is like the one executive out of this whole entire game of, uh, of Pokemon that we don't really get to see that often. I don't know if we actually get to see him for a second time, but I'm pretty certain that this is like the only time ever that we only get to see this final uh, executive. Okay. And here we go, we also got Drapion coming out here as well. So we're going to keep on battling for the time being. We can't have you getting in the way before the news of our resurgence reaches Giovanni. Well dude, you're going to get put to a stop anyways, because I'm going to knock you out a few more times. So let's see how much Strength is going to do. Strength is actually a pretty good move. Even though it's an HM. Cross poison. Ouch. You better not poison me again, dude. That's impossible. Eh. Doesn't even touch me, dude. Boo is just way too thick of a Pokemon to... to do damage on. And there we go. Drapion is out of here. And we have completed out Bally Out Archer. And I think we basically don't have to worry about any more Team Rocket after this. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was up, I was not up to t uh, up to the task after all. Like Giovanni has done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. And there he goes. Oh, and here comes the uh, the director. Oh, you have already defeated them. Thank you. Uh, your courage, your cur your courageousness, actions have saved the Pokemon nationwide. You are well worth this. So please take it. Oh, yay, the Rainbow Wing. Okay, so that seems like we can be able to now actually go and grab our uh, encounter for our Ho-Oh. I may probably do that later on. Uh, probably once we've taken care of uh, the whole Black Sword City and everything. I'll save that for, uh, for later on down the road. Apparently, uh, there is something else that you need or something like that. I wonder what it was. I can't remember. Well, we need the Komodo Girls, of course. I expected something, that is why uh, they call uh, Fake Out. I really must uh, go back to my office, so uh, my office this time. So see ya. Well, thank you, Director. Oh, man. Here we go. We got Tully. Now, I believe uh, he is the man with all the stones, right? What's up? This is Tully. How are you? My quillfish has grown again, and it was it was only about... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, who really cares about your stupid quillfish, dude? Well, that was dumb. You're supposed to give me some stones, dude. Don't be talking about your Pokemon. Okay, so let's go and head all the way back down here. And I think I should probably, um... 
Uh, ooh, ooh. Well, that's not good. Okay, not there good. we go. Much better now. <laughs> Jeez, man, I... These hack games, dude, they always love to, like, do a lot of glitching up like that. Okay, so let's go back down over here, down to where these steps are. And everything is back to normal, thank God. Don't have to worry about any more rocket members around here. And uh, let's go pick up Robin, and we're gonna... Oh, actually, sorry. No, Robin. We actually have Dernavir. What am I doing? Yes, that's right. I did put a uh, fly on Dernavir, so we can actually be able to fly all the way back here without having to worry about it. Um, am I set for hyper potions as well? Yeah, we still have six hyper potions. We're still good. Nothing to worry about that. So let's fly, and let's go back to Mahogany Town. Yes. After that, after those uh, three-part segment with me going through uh, through the radio tower, we finally have completed out all that, and we can finally head on over to the other side of Mahogany here. Now there is going to be a guy that is going to stop us and try to give him his or give us the Rage Candy Bar. I don't know exactly what the Rage Candy Bar actually does. But, uh, let's go and talk to the guy here, though. All the way at the very top here. Oh. What? A Rage Candy Bar? You want to buy one? Right on. Same as before, it can be yours for just $300. Uh, why not? We'll just take it. There we go. So I remember a person uh, from as far as Kanto come by a long time ago, and I happened to have none in stock, but then that person left it rather upset. I felt kind of sorry about that. <laughs> and here we go, guys. We are at a brand new route now. Now, there is different uh, things that we can do here to grab ourselves an encounter. We can actually go and surf along and find a Pokemon that's uh, in the water over here. And I think there is like a patch of grass somewhere. Max Repel, nice. We finally get some extra repels out here, too. Uh, there should be a patch of grass somewhere. It, there should be, like, an island or something, and there should be, like, some patches of grass. And I think that's, like, the only type of patch grass that you can find. And I think that's where you find Lickitung's. A Blossom? Okay. Uh, let's just go for a straight. That should just basically knock this guy out of here. Almost. Ah, uh, but we got stun board. Great. But you know what? We got some full heals too, so we'll be ready to take care of all that. Nice. So got cured from the, all of that stuff there. Now you're gonna set up. <laughs> oh, an energy ball. Now, uh, uh, if you guys did miss out on the live stream on Monday, uh, I did actually let you guys know that I will be doing a new Nuzlocke after once uh, Spirit Gold Wedlock is all finished. Uh, once we uh, complete the, out the game, or if something really bad has to happen. Um, Basically, uh, the next Nuzlocke I'm going to be doing is going to be uh, a Pokemon Coliseum Nuzlocke, and I'm really excited about that. Um, so let's just go for a Vile Throw. I don't know how much that's going to do. Wow, it was a critical too. Even what it was, even if it had Reflect on. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to take me a long time for me to do a Colosseum Randomizer, because, um, when I did my Pokemon XG, uh, just doing that and trying to mod out, uh, the original Pokemon XD game was just a little bit complicated. Okay, so she's almost done out of Pokemon out here. She's got a few more left. So we'll just keep on using Strength over here. But yeah, you can fight like quite a bit of trainers over here. Wow. That does a lot of damage. Uh, we should probably heal up. Just to be on the safe side, because that Pelodance is pretty crazy. 
But uh, for Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer, uh, you're kind of like doing almost the same exact thing as what you're doing with uh, with the Pokemon uh, XD, uh, trying to mod out that game. But there's like a little bit of uh, different things that you need to worry about. What the heck? That was a critical pedal dance. Alright, well, that was freaking scary. What in the heck, man? I hope you hurt yourself, Roserade. After all this. You're still going out for pedal dances. What? Okay, there we go. So let's go use a strike out here. Hurt yourself, dude. Yes. Okay, finally. And then we'll go for our own move out here, and that should take care of this Roserade. Let's get it out of here. Wow. I never thought that Pillow Dance was going to do that much to us. Nah. I think we're just going to leave Boo on in here. Okay. Another straight. I don't know how much this is going to do on Sephora. Sephora is actually pretty tankable. We could probably take all these moves. Ooh, nice. They got that missed. Don't want to be put to sleep. Oh. Really? Even when I said I don't want to be put to sleep, I do get put to sleep. Here. How about I go and I use up another full heal? Wow, this fight may probably take up the whole entire episode, I think. Uh, one more strength. Really? Stop setting out energy balls, dude. Oh, just get out of here. Okay, I think all that I want to do in this place is just grab out our encounter, and that's about it. I don't really feel like battling on all these trainers right now. Oh, close combat. That's also really good. Uh, let's forget about um, Force Palm, and we'll uh, keep Vital Throw, though. Okay, awesome. And my Ludic. Okay, well, that's a good... That was a good sign there. I was just going to be switching out Pokemon anyways, so... It shouldn't be all that too bad. Now, I don't know if my Lodic also gets Intimidate too, but... Okay, it doesn't. And that should knock out the Milotic here, and we have nothing else to worry about. Oh, come on, really? Great, now you're just going to heal up yourself as well. Oh, let's go for one more discharge. This discharge always works. If I try to mirror shot, it may probably not even work. And there we go. Trainer has been defeated. Okay, now let me find this patch of grass over here. Just get quickly healed up as well. Just so that we don't want to have Boo to go down at all. Okay, let's keep my head down this way. Wow, another trainer? Okay. I think this is the, the place right here. Nice and awesome ball. So let's see, can I make it over here to this patch of grass without having uh, to get spotted by a Pokemon in the water? No! Oh man, the grass was right over there. Okay, well... I'm pretty certain I think we do actually de uh, need to uh, find a... Uh, a female Pokemon now, if I can remember correctly. Because, like, so far we've been c catching a whole bunch of genderless Pokemon, but I believe... Uh, our previous route, I think we got ourselves a male Pokemon, or ran into a male Pokemon, I think. I'm not too entirely sure, but... We're going to go and capture out ourselves a Surskid over here. 
And uh, unfortunately, this is uh, a female Strisket, so we're gonna need the uh, name this thing uh, Leah instead of Leo. But Leo was a big help back in our Pokemon Diamond Randomizer uh, when I did that Nuzlocke, and we had a masqueraded. That one lived out through the whole entire uh, process of the Elite Four and everything, so. I actually really do uh, enjoy uh, liking Masquerade, because Masquerade is really awesome. Okay, so let me just dodge around you. And here we go, guys. We have made it over here to the Ice Cave. Now, I don't think I'm going to be doing everything here in the Ice Cave, but we'll grab ourselves a counter and just do some of the... Uh, do some of the uh, ice stuff in here. Come on. Where's a swine up? Or a sneasel? Or a gold bat. I think I already have a gold bat. Or. Actually, I have a zoo bat, I think. If I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to run away from this. Oh, we can't even do that, anyways. Great. Now I'm being looked. Yeah, can't even escape because I'm mean look, I know. Aha! There we go. Quick claw popped. And you are out of here, Golbat. Oh wow, quick claw it doesn't even Oh great, now we're also confused right too. Well, we have one, we, well, we actually have two more full heals, so. We can get out of that situation there pretty quickly. And we'll also go for a strength. Why do you keep on going for me look? You already just me look me. Get out of here, Golbat. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I think we do have a gold bat. Oh, but it's feel though. So I, so I believe we're still on a hunt for a male type Pokemon out here. But if I'm wrong and I don't have a Zubat, then our counter has just been wasted. So that means we have to still be on a hunt for a male Pokemon uh, in the next route. Oh, a Snover. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so let me just get on out of here. Well, that's pretty awesome. Get the five Snover. So where's that Max Repel? I actually do have one of them here. Oh, right. Yeah, we actually have a Nugget, too. Which I found. I should be able to, uh... Oh, we also have an amulet coin? How did I not even realize that? Oh, we should actually give this to somebody. Oh, let's give it to Bolton. Got some extra cash along the way after every battle. Okay, now how am I going to do this puzzle? Because it's been a while since I did this one. Nope. Nope, that's not going to work. Hold on, I think... Uh... Nope, that doesn't help. Hmm. It's been so long since I've done this puzzle that I forget on how to do it. I'm just trying to figure out how I would... Maybe something like... Aha! There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, here we go. Now we need actually this to grab. Um... There we go. That's how we go and grab ourselves 
HMO7 Waterfall, because we actually do need that for uh, later on when we have to go to the Elite Four. So don't want to forget about uh, to pick that up. I remember when I first played uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, I actually totally forgot about to pick up that item over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, the item you picked up over there. It was an HM, wasn't it? I'm the one who dropped it, but I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it, right? Today's waterfall, so have fun climbing waterfalls. Me? I still need a new pair of shoes before I can enjoy waterfalls. Well, I guess that's what you have to go first. Okay, and you know what? I'm actually going to save this part over here for the next episode, because this is going to probably take us some time. So guys, in the next episode, we're going to continue onwards here in through the Ice Pass. We are going to be taking care of the boulders, uh, and then once we take care of all the boulders here in this Ice Pass puzzle, then we're going to be heading on over to a Komodo Girl, which then we can just head on over to uh, Black Shore City next. So anyways, don't forget to uh, leave a comment, like, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and peace.